Welcome back, guys. I'm Phil. Hey, guys. I'm Sam. You know that because you're already subscribed. If you're not, welcome to the channel for the first time in which we're doing the Hollies. Yes, and this is our first time doing the Hollies. That's right. We've got a lot of first times on the channel thus far, and this will be adding to that list. Who would have thought that 800 and some odd 50, maybe uh, maybe we're at 900 videos <laughs> by this point, um, that we're still doing first time reactions? I know. I mean, a lot of those have been like a very first introduction. Yeah, like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like to new artists. Well, yeah, everything we do is a first time reaction, yes. but I guess you're referring to the fact that we've done some artists for the first time and then followed up with yes. additional songs, Other songs from them. Yeah. Anyway, so the Hollies we're doing for the first time, we're doing the air that I breathe. This has been recommended a few times in those comments from our subscribers, which are so fantastic. Yes, you guys always yes. give us great suggestions and the Hollies were one of those suggestions. Don't know if this is a great place to start with them, but we got to jump in somewhere. And in light of that, we got a quick little pop quiz question for you. Samantha, what is it? We want to know what year was this song released? If you know that, drop it down low in the comments. Don't worry, we'll give you the answer before we go yes. at the end. I think there's been one video that we forgot to give them the answer to the pop quiz Ooh. question. But I think we've probably See? done, you know, maybe 75 questions at this point. So, you know, we get so wrapped up in the music yes. sometimes. We're like, oh, yeah, we got to give you the answer. But we won't forget. I promise. But yeah, if I, I break my say promise. Pinky, pinky swear. Don't hold me accountable too much anyways are you ready to check out some of the hollies you don't know anything about them right no i don't know if i've ever even heard of them well that might be blasphemous to some yeah. but after this video we will have heard them so yes. let's get it going fire this is fire sam is stealing my catchphrase <laughs> <laughs> it is a banger how are you feeling about it well obviously you think it's great but like what are you enjoying about it this is giving me goosebumps for starters i love that like well i mean in general it's great but Hold i on. love Didn't that she just asked me to <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me goosebumps i know right it's like this <laughs> 
Anyways, okay, let, continue, no, no, continue, no, no, continue. I want you to elaborate, so go ahead. Um, the instrumentation, like, kind of break there, I thought was really cool. And um, I liked how they led into that from the chorus, like, into that. Mm-hmm. I thought that that sounded really good. The chorus almost sounds a little familiar to me, though. I yeah, it does a little bit to me, why, the melody of it. from where. Yeah, it could have been, the, as we've said multiple times, a movie yeah, or something like yeah. that. yeah. Just that one piece. It's like, um, sometimes all I need is the air that I breathe and to love you. Like, that's mm-hmm. the part that I recognize a little bit. And how poetic are those lyrics? I know. But I just love the whole vibe of the song, right? Like, just like, you don't, like, when you said in the beginning, like, even if I could have a wish, I don't know that I would want one because mm-hmm. there's, like, nothing that I need. Like, I have everything that I need. And I think that just kind of brings me back to the idea of, you know, living in this society of where we always, like, want, want, want. And, mm-hmm. you know, you're never, like, taking time to just be grateful for, for what you have and realize, like, you do pretty much have everything that you need, right? Yeah. I think this, um, you know, you highlighted a few things that I was thinking about the first being beautiful. Mm-hmm. This song is so beautifully done. Mm-hmm. Um, but in light of what you just said, gratitude, great, you know, capturing the messaging of gratitude, but the sound of gratitude. Yeah. You know, I think I personally, I think of gratitude in some spiritual sense. And this does give me like a spiritual yeah. vibe when I listen to it. It makes my um, heart feel full. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's that beauty that I was talking about. And what I'm referring to musically, when I say that the build in this, this song is so fantastic. Um, it's, you know, we started with his vocal, which is obviously great. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, these harmonized mm-hmm. chorus vocals come in. And it's like explosion. I was just I like, know. whoa. Like, and where then, did that come from? Yeah. And then the additive of the solo and the instrument instrumental break that you were referring to, again, was like another addition of this build and this process, yeah. right, of this, um, you know, feeling of fullness, mm-hmm. of gratitude. And uh, it's, like I said, so well done. It feels like um, an orchestra of sense. You know, it, it's, it's, yeah, it is very, I mean, not to use the word full again, but <laughs> the instrumentation is a very full sound in yeah. the back. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so I'm loving this one. It's, uh, such a, such a great groove. I think we said, um, in the beginning as a part of our question, when was this released? Right. And this is a released in a time period that I have been coming. Phil's been loving it. To love. It's the, uh. Fill in the blank, we'll tell you at the end, period. (laughs) (laughs) Some of you guys already get that. But um, I will say, this gives me a different vibe than what I would have thought. If I had to listen to this and you had said, put this in an era, I wouldn't have put it in an era that it it was released in. Well, we're going to ask you after we give the pop quiz answer what era you would have put it in. (laughs) I think you already know what what era I put it in. But anyways, let's continue on and rewind it a little bit because I want to listen to this fire again.
fade out. That was indeed fire. Yeah, that was awesome. I love that. Like five thumbs up for me. Five thumbs up. No, it's four from us and one from you. That's what, that's what we say. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, I noticed as soon as we got back into it, the trailing vocals, the background vocals that they had um, harmonized leading into the guitar solo. And mm -hmm. it just trailed on as like an extra layer to yeah. the guitar, which was so cool. And then they had an additional layer added in the back half with the drum. So it was layered between yeah. the electric guitar, then the harmonized backing vocals and the drums that were all trailing together, which yeah. was super, super the cool. The drums really stood out to me in the chorus. Yeah. Well, to me in general, I thought it was super melodic, obviously, but I felt like the drums and the acoustic guitar played together really, really well. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoyed that layering. And, you know, it, I think from the surface, because the chorus was so repetitive, you could feel like it wasn't an overly complex song. Yeah. But instrumental wise it was so There's so well done yeah. it, everything just played off of each other so well the mix was perfect um you know it was just like a take me away mm -hmm. you know kind of song that you listen to and it lets your mind go yeah no definitely a banger for sure i loved it all right so you can let them know the answer to that pop quiz question it was released in 1974 that's right so um to me i would place this in the 60s, 60s. So this sounds like something that we've done from the 60s. A lot of 60s. harmonizing, right? Yeah. It kind of reminded me a little bit of some vibes of like Beatles, some vibes of Bee Gees, like with the harmonizing and stuff yeah. like that. Um, and I think it reminded me a little bit of California Dreamin', mm -hmm. the song that we did. Um, yeah. So definitely that influence from the 60s probably like brought them into the early 70s, right? If this was 1974. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, um, I don't even... I'm not really familiar with their backstory just yet. I mean, we did a little bit of research yeah. beforehand, but we learned a lot from you guys in the comments. Yeah, so you can drop them down so low and educate us, us a bit on the Hollies. But um, they might have been, you know, taking the sound from the 60s. They might have started making their music in the 60s and then, you know, kind went into the 70s into and, yeah. and were doing their thing then. Just kind of kept their signature sound. Yeah. But uh, I loved it. Um, it was so, so well done. And we definitely are going to need to do more of mm -hmm. the Hollies. Yeah, I totally agree. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. If you didn't, you know what to do. You got to hit that like button. Like I said in the beginning, if this is your first time on the channel, you got to hit that subscribe button now. Make sure you don't miss anything going forward because we got more fire coming. And uh, make sure you hit the notification bell because why, Samantha? Because you don't want to miss a video. And because YouTube can be a bit of a pain in the behind. Yes. <laughs> they don't always notify you guys. Anyways, enough about us. Make sure you come back tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.